medicine today is quite dynamic with so many updates on the internet about all this information related to healthcare. But I think all of this information can only be useful if we do get an expert advice on how it can be used on an Indian perspective, uh, also on a clinical perspective. So to give us the expert advice, we have with us uh, uh, Dr. Rana Bhattacharji. He's the faculty of the Department of Endocrinology at IPGMER and SSKM Kolkata. It's so good to have you here, sir. Thank so you. we're here with uh, doctor with the latest updates at McLaurin's uh, MedLife at APCON 2019. And I think we're going to start talking about the prevalence of congenital hypothyroidism. I'm sure you have some insightful things to tell us on this. Yeah, uh, the congenital hypothyroidism is rather a very common disorder worldwide. So, in according to the Western literature, it's around 1 in 3,000 to in some data 1 in 4,000. In India, there are some small studies also where the incidence is about 1.2 per thousand of the newborn. So, it's a huge number particularly because the, it's a most common preventable cause of mental retardation in children. It's absolutely preventable. So, that's what, why it's so important. Okay. So, when we talk about that, we also have to talk about the importance of screening the congenital hypothyroidism in newborns and what is your take on yes, that? Yes, so just because of the very same reason that is so common and more importantly, the child who is born today may not develop typical symptoms of hypothyroid for around few months, even one or one and a half years also. So, by the time it was detected by the clinical features, the permanent brain damage has already happened. So, that's the reason why you should screen just after birth, after 72 hours after birth to detect the disease and if detected, we should treat it then and there. Okay. And I'm sure hypothyroidism also comes with a lot of complications. So, what are some of them? Yeah, hypothyroidism in adults also there are lots of complications. In children also it's not much different, but what the major difference is as I was telling that the risk of permanent brain damage if it, it's untreated. So that's the major thing. But besides this from your hair to your toenails, everything is affected by hypothyroidism. But the, again, the most important thing is the brain. Okay. And what are the effective ways of management of congenital hypothyroidism? Yes, the idea is once the congenital hypothyroidism is detected by the routine blood test, just after 72 hours after birth, we start treatment immediately with a tablet known as levothyroxine, which is very simple to administer. One has to, I mean, the pediatrician or endocrinologist can start this treatment as soon as this condition is detected and treatment should continue uninterrupted for at least three years because that is the time when the brain develops and any interruption of treatment or inadequate treatment will lead to permanent brain damage. At three years, we may stop the treatment temporarily and we should recheck whether the disease is still there. If not, we can discontinue but up to three years, the continuous treatment is absolutely mandatory. Well, thank you so much, doctor, for joining us thank and telling you. us thank all you. this about congenital hypothyroidism. It was great having you here with us. Thank you. Thank you so much.